done this in a while. The last few videos I had put out, I had 3D printed a chin mount that was specifically designed for this helmet and it fit very well. I had some quote high temperature 3M dual sided adhesive and they recommended to use a heat gun to heat up the tape and both surfaces that you're going to mount the tape to. So I did and it seemed to stick pretty freaking solid until I stored the helmet in my tour pack on a hot day and the GoPro mount just fell right off twice. I re-taped it a second time and it fell right off again. So I think the the case that I've got around my GoPro 8 that holds the microphone adapter underneath it was just too much weight plus the heat for that mount. So I found this mount. On Amazon. And it's kind of hinged, so it kind of conforms to the shape of any helmet. And that arched part in the middle goes around my modular helmet button so I can still get my modular helmet open and there's three times as much at least contact patch with this mount than there was the 3d printed chin mount that I had so hopefully this holds a little better which I will say I stored this same mount in my tour pack while I was hanging out with some friends at the lake the other day and it fell off too. So we can't store the helmet in the tour pack at least with the GoPro attached. Which is annoying because that's kind of the whole purpose of a tour pack. But whatever. But anyway, that's why I haven't done this in a while. There's absolutely nothing new to share. Still haven't tuned the bike. I haven't added any new accessories. No. The ham radio is not mounted there, but uh, it's charging up. I took it to work today, so I'd have an FM radio to listen to. Speaking of the ham radio stuff, this coming Saturday and Sunday, which I think it's supposed to be kind of crummy weather, so I might not participate. But if the weather turns out okay, there is a ham radio rover event. Uh, UHF, I think they called the CQ Worldwide UHF. VHF, UHF. VHF only, I can't remember. CQ Worldwide, six meters, two meters. I don't know if they're doing 70 centimeters and above or not. Anyway several rovers that have lots and lots and lots and lots of money and ham radio equipment tied up in their vehicles are going to go traveling around trying to make six meter two meter contacts and most of them will be broadcasting aprs packets so that little ft5d that i've got that i mount to my handlebars will transmit and receive aprs packets at five watts and not very darn far with uh, the HT antenna. But I think I'm going to get a general idea of where one of these rovers is gonna be if the weather is favorable for motorcycling and kind of head in that general direction and then open up the APRS reader on that radio 
and try to track his beacon by RF and get close enough to make a contact with him. Kind of neat to me, but kind of dorky to everybody else, I'm sure. Anyway, I don't care. It's fun. Gives me some place to ride for no particular reason whatsoever. Maybe I'll find something cool to do while I'm going there. I'm heading to Edmund Bike Night right now. I believe they do this once a month at the Edmund Rail Yard. Kind of a little square of restaurants and pubs and clubs. This is old Route 66 that I'm on right now, and 2nd Street in Edmond is also old Route 66. But it's quite a bit further north from here. So it took a boop boop jog. The 2nd Street's where this place is at. Well, this is bike night. It doesn't seem to be expanding any as three more bikes ride in. But I'm leaving, because I'm old. Look at this guy here, waving me on. Well, kind of a weak story time today. No major updates. Maybe we'll have something cool this weekend if the rover thing goes down. So, until next time. <laughs>